Yep. Okay. So what we've got here is a multi-touch presentation system running on this set. So as you can see, it's, it's sort of pretty consistent in terms of flow. But the real interesting thing is, what do I mean by touch? So if I just touch an item, I assume I want to look at it. Yeah. But if I touch it and move it like that, I want to actually pan around the place. It gets even more interesting when I touch it and pinch. Because what I mean by that is I want to go in and look at it. But you can see how consistent, and this was the, the application that, uh, that we've been spending the time developing the gesture engine to actually deal with. So I can sort of flick through the different pictures and you notice you've got velocity angles, um, all the rest of it. and. It's very difficult to do, but you can actually catch it. It's got all of the, 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 the physics in there. And the air hockey game actually was a test of the physics engine we were using between it. And we, we, uh, the, uh, we developed the air hockey game as a, a way of um, improving the engine out. As you can see, it's very consistent, it's very coherent, and, and it's, it's pretty, pretty responsive in terms of, of trying to um, interpret what the user is actually trying to do. And this is written in WPF. Mm -hmm and uh, works with both uh, Vista, Win7, Win7 Touch, and Microsoft Surface, all the same code base. So you, know, you can run it on any of those environments. We just do uh, it. The whole gesture engine, in this case, is, uh, is written to be very lightweight for, for an end, end programmer to work with. It's like my blade, for example, with, with sort of lights and handlers, so it's a lot easier to work with.